All right, guys, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch. We've got a bunch of stuff going on today. As you can tell, there's a chainsaw in the background. My brother decided to get encouraged to take down this cedar tree or juniper tree. I got some footage of that, and we've also got to weigh this last group of buffalo here. It's been their second three-month period, so this is about when they're two or a year or whatever. It's just, you know, it's that time of year. Just keeping stats, so keep with us as we run all the buffalo through and tell you what happened about that herd that we were selling. So anyway, stick with us. As we're here, trying to take down this cedar tree. It's right next to where our house is gonna be and we've already broken off one section over here. We didn't do it, Mother Nature did. So I'll, I'll clarify that. You can see the stump kind of resist residually sitting there. Anyway, my brother is kind of just wanting to take this on. Hard lean coming, so he's notching it. And we're gonna try and drop it on the inside this way of whatever you call that, the H braces. So we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Smells like cedar chips we use for guinea pigs. How did my age do with that? Uh oh. Uh, it's bad enough, but not that bad. All right, so it hit the fence a little bit. That's what we figured. That's why I didn't want any of the buffalo in here when we were doing it. But uh, it did hit the fence. But whatever, we'll chop it up. And age brace is still good. No big deal. These wires are already loose anyway. In case we were all wondering, the lean was this direction. And that was just a little too steep. And so it kept binding on the saw over here. So just cut it and let it roll. And it did. There you go, Aaron. All done. It's a lot better than it was. I like it. Got any more trees? <gasps> no, cutting down a cedar. All right, guys, no, no. that's it. All done. I like the MS-271, man. That little farm boss has got some power, some torque. However, I will tell you, I have used that 171 90% of the time. Just a little 16-inch bar on that little guy takes down most of the stuff I ever need, but that has a lot of torque. So. Anyway, it gets heavy. So as you notice, I finished it. Aaron did some stuff, but uh, it gets heavy. So all of this is down. We'll have to go inside and do this little section, but I didn't want to take the tree down until after we moved the buffalo out of six and seven, which we just did. So obviously some fencing needs some to work. Our top line is <laughs> all slacking the line. <laughs> all the way. This is actually gonna be a future project because what we need to do is put a gate along this side where the H brace is so the animals can go this way. Where it allows us to be able to capture them in here with some feed, but then enter and pass through into the handling pen to swap to figure, or figure, 
pasture yeah. five. Transition. So that's going to be a future time, not necessarily right now, but I'm not going to sweat these lines because I know they're all coming down anyway. All right, well, we got that stuff loaded for my brother. He wanted to take away some of that stuff and load it in his truck. So I'm like, all right, I have told him, you need to get a sprayed in bed liner. Aluminum, I don't mind the aluminum beds, but uh, you better get a bed liner. Otherwise, you just, just get a bed liner. So anyway, we've got that tree down. That was kind of an unexpected thing. It wasn't on the to-do list today, but it was fun to do, I guess. Uh, use some of that chainsawing and stuff like that. You can never pass that up. So this is the mini, mini herd way back in the back. And as you guys know, I've told you like many episodes ago that we had somebody coming over to buy them. Anyway, I'm trying to keep this PG. I don't really have a lot of patience for people who can't communicate. Person was supposedly in the, I don't know, had an allergy attack or something last time. Didn't pick them up. So if you notice, they've been around. So they're over here. He told me, hey, finally contacted me back after like 12 messages. They finally reached back out to me and said, hey, yeah, I want to pick them up on Saturday, five o'clock. We are an hour away. I told him, hey, I'm gonna confirm just later in the week. No big deal, blah, blah, blah. Still, zero communication. I don't know if they're gonna be picked up. Who knows, right? Um, just in the future, guys, just communicate. Freak man, like, what's up? Just, gosh, dang it, just communicate, right? Crumb and courtesy. Anyway, we're gonna weigh them again since it's been a couple weeks. I just wanna weigh them again, just see how their weight changed. But we're also gonna do these two calves and we're gonna do all the frat brothers. So in the frat house, we're gonna weigh all of them. We have a butchering appointment on the first. So Thursday, we're gonna be carrying all these two of them over. We're gonna select two of those frat house dudes to go to butcher. Um, we're gonna weigh them first and then kind of decide and I'll tell you kind of what's our plan with each of them. Obviously, we've got to move this again. I'm not gonna put that on camera, guys. I'm just gonna move it. We're gonna run everything else and it's kind of very similar to last time. The other buffalo. I just walked over, shut the two in the calves up. The other guys in the frat house were just sitting by a gate, opening up. Five of them came through, went over, closed it, opened another gate. The other guy went through, closed it, put them all together. And my hope is that if I just opened it, then maybe they would just all come together and come in. And just like that, they came through, and now we've got all of them done. I think we have six, five, that's 11, 12, 13 buffalo. Hopefully we just walk them around and do kind of what we did last time, working the buffalo. This is our bison handling facility we built from scratch a year, a little over a year ago, guys. I'm gonna come out in a video. I've said it before, but I just wanted to be using this more and more before I did it, but just why it's sized the way it is, why it's shaped the way it is, things I could do better, because this isn't a perfect facility but it works if you're gonna have buffalo guys build this and take some time to honestly think about its layout before you even put a post in the ground so here's our frat boys all the ones getting ready for finishing there we go there's the biggest one 114. we'll find out how big you really are today dude are you ready How are you doing? 110? You're looking big. Here's our mini herd, the ones who've last been weighed. It's been a few weeks. Hopefully they're still gaining. 
so we'll see. The last two are the two yearling girls. All right, guys, I think we're set here, almost ready to go. We got the calves. I think my wife showed you around. Far pen is the mini herd, and this one right here is a frat house. Last time we had moved these frat boys down from here, they were in Penn C over there. We came up and we came through this little feed area and right where we put that panel, 111, I believe is his name. 110, whatever, either one of them. They both kind of annoy me. They jumped right through one of them and went off out to the netherworlds. So now that we got our herd out there, that's really a bad thing to have happen. We put a panel, Charlotte's gonna chain it up a little bit, get everything set. We're gonna start with the mini herd backside. Mini herd will be released out into this open middle area. Once we're done with them, we're gonna bring them back up into that feedlot area with the idea to come back into here, just in case this dude actually shows up to buy the buffalo. The others I think we're gonna put in A, the two calves, and then the frat boys will probably likewise come back into here, maybe the same route as the mini herd. We'll put them into a different pen and then put them all the way back out there. We just need to select which one that we're going to have feed. Uh, I mean, not feed, but uh, take to the butcher. So we'll process the data and then midweek sometime we'll sort that all out. But anyway, let's get wrapping on this. It's a warm one today and uh, get moving. I'll just tell you guys, like before, you know, I'm not going to be playing some like amazing music. I'm not going to be sitting here burning tons of gas, running around in the chain, like not chainsaws, but side by sides. The objective is low stress handling. It's to not be able to say a word, keep your heart rate down, stay calm and just try and work with them through it. Just kind of like what you saw with some of these gates. You just open it up and let the curiosity go. There may be some pushing, there may be some usage of flags, but honestly, it's not. It's not a production sideshow, right? So I'm not kind of keeping it like that. So I'll maybe put some cute music to it or something. I don't know, but the goal is just to keep it calm as much as possible. And uh, in the alleyway, it gets a little bit more intense. So you got to kind of assert yourself sometimes, but we are always from positions of safety and security. All right, let's get to this. Right along this barbed wire and just walk behind them. 
Yep, I'm gonna shut this gate. Go, go! Go, I want go you to shut the metal gate, please. Go, 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 go! Right here, right here, shut it! Good job, that's the job. All right, so we're gonna be moving our two calf yearling girls over there. These last two pens, the gates will come out at an angle and create a nice angle down our alley. And then they don't bottleneck down at the end of this one lane. So Jeff's gonna get them to move over and then they'll come down the alley. still wiggle around backwards. take this mini herd I'm gonna move them to one of these other larger pasture like pens get the frat house back through and out back into their little home and then we'll let these guys back out into pen B or C Not go through the fence again. Right, there's there's a way for them to get out now. So this one that's moving around all the time is 112. I don't care what it weighs, it's gone. Mm. 112 was feisty. 
just getting her loaded. That was the one that was the holdout. And then she's just been the one that's been more instigating. He. He. Just a bunch of crap. So, 112 is going butcher. All right, I'm gonna let these guys chill out. We'll release the other guys, I guess. Dang it. I need them to come through here. All right, well, I'm gonna let these guys sit for a while. I'm gonna get a drink. I'll be back. So these guys have been in the frat house and the frat house hasn't really had grass. So aside from just letting 112 calm down, letting them kind of get their fill a little bit and getting some stuff. Obviously, who do you see on the far side? Ahmed, just chilling, just sitting there. So we didn't give any shots. Uh, we do that once a year, in November. And um, we didn't do the worming right now because we'd previously done worming. <clears throat> There's a waiting period after worming that you gotta kind of wait before they go butcher. So. Um, the reason I wanted to do it now, I really wanted to do it on June 3rd, next Saturday, because I was just, for data purposes, we started feeding them that maxi gain or that uh, mineral supplement stuff and at a certain rates. And if you've been following us, you see us dumping that out, right? So <clears throat> I just want to see what's their growth rate. This group got twice as much as the mini herd. And so I want to look at the average daily gain and say, look, is this actually doing it? I don't have all those numbers calculated all that kind of jazz. I'll try and share that with you in another video. 112 would not be one based on weight that I would send to the butcher, but I hate the attitude. So anyway, this guy hasn't shown up for the mini herd. So I need this group to pass through so I can shut it off and let these guys back out to a pasture. So they're just not moving. <laughs> All right, just walk towards me, Aaron. That's all you need to do. Nah, they know what to do now. There they go. Back to run around and see. Girls, are you lonely? Do you miss them? It's okay. Okay, girls. We can do our daily runs again with our two little yearling girls. You happy to be back in A? Alright. Now I can come in, hopefully. Well guys, that's it. So we're wrapping this day up. We made some good progress, got the tree down, everything along that route, and uh, got everything weighed. And we're gonna analyze the information and go from there. So um, yeah, just been a long day, been warm. So appreciate you guys joining along. Keep with us as we continue to build a bison ranch from scratch. Now that we still have this mini herd, cause the guy no showed again, just gonna cut that off. If you got suggestions on how to deal with people and making sure that they show up, or do you just kinda have to deal with it? Do you take deposits? What do you do? What are your suggestions? If you sell animals, how do you do it? Um, I have never had a problem with people before. But this dude, man, he makes me want to say stuff that I probably shouldn't. So anyway, we'll catch you guys next time at Black Acre Ranch, guys. Enjoy. Bye. <music>